Hello, welcome to Do It Yourself with Wayne. Today, we're gonna to show you how to build a mailbox post. We're gonna be building one like this one. Uh, this is the mailbox post at my house. I built this mailbox post 20, 25 years ago, something like that, but better than 20 years ago. And as you can see, it's still solid. It's not sagging, no cross bracing. You know, it's about as solid as it's ever been. It's over 20 years old. If you build a mailbox post right, it'll last you a very long time. So today, we're gonna to show you how to build a post like this, how to make it solid and how to make it last. Okay, here we are down at the workbench where we're gonna build our mailbox post. And I purchased a 10 foot four by four. Obviously 10 feet long, uh, that gives us enough length to do the upright part of the post and the cross piece out of this one 10 foot four by four. So that's what we're gonna be using to build the post. Uh, other things you'll need, I got my miter saw out here. I'm not sure if we'll be gonna be using it, but we might we'll use it a little bit maybe. Um, you gotta have a square of some sort. Doesn't have to be like this, but you gotta have something to make sure you get things good and square and things cut straight. Uh, I got my circular saw, we'll be using this more. You could use a hand saw if that's all you got, but um, you know these make it a lot easier to get work done. You gotta have a tape measure. Now I got a couple of different kinds of nails out here and I'll put a picture up in the corner so you can see them close up. But one set has uh, grooves that run around like a, a little bit like a corkscrew and the other one set has grooves that go around and around and both types work really well for something like this because they don't come out very easily. You can use a regular nail. Um, you may have more trouble with them getting loose over time uh, either one of these types will hold longer and hold stronger. You can use screws if you want to. They will work just fine as well, but if you do, just make sure you use something like a deck screw or something that's suitable for outdoors. Also got a pencil, got a hammer, you'll need that. And uh, to go underneath your mailbox, you have to have a piece of something here to fill in for screws to go in on the sides that you nail into the top of the post. Uh, I got a piece of plywood here. We could cut that out of this. I got a couple old pieces of Trex uh, decking from an old front porch project we did some time back. Thinking about using this, but if I use this, I got to cut it and make two pieces out of it. So that's going to be more work, but you know, we're still thinking about that a little bit. But anyway, that's what we've got. Now let's get moving on building this mailbox post. Okay, the first thing you got to do is determine how long the cross piece is going to be because that's your one real cut off of your 10 foot 4x4. Four four. Now in your our traditional mailbox like this, when you open the door, if you watch this little flange, it goes under the mailbox. So your board that comes up under here, you can't go all the way to the end. You go to the end, your door won't open. So come back a couple of inches. So we're using this piece as an example of what will be under the mailbox. If we come back about two inches from the door, and then your post, we're using this just as an example. You know, don't put your mailbox right against your post, leave a little bit of space there. It's just personal preference, but that's what I do. And then how far do you want this to stick out the back? It's nice to have a little bit sticking out. Uh, right now, I think we're going about eight inches, nine inches. Um, but we can trim that off later if we want to, but you don't want to go too far, but you know, just think about how much you want sticking out the back. So then you add up how much length you got here, width of your post, and how far you want this to stick out the back. And that's what length you want to cut off the end of your 10 foot four by four. We're going with 30 inches. So uh, let's get this stuff out of our way so we don't damage it and let's cut that pole. Now at this point, we've determined that we want our cross piece for our post to be 30 inches long. So uh, from the end of our 10 foot four by four, we come down here, we mark 30 inches. We take a good uh, square, and square that line off 30 inches. Now I'm gonna take my circular saw. The miter saw would work great for this, but I don't have a good way to support the far end. So I'm just gonna use my circular saw. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna hold my little square against the edge and run my circular saw against that squared off, against the square. That gives me a good straight cut. Of 
course my circular saw won't cut all the way through. So now we're going to turn it. I'm going to do it again. One more time. And this time it'll be cut in two. Okay, it'll be almost cut in two. My circular saw wasn't quite set at its full depth. All right, let's try this again. There we go. <laughs> Didn't have anything supporting that end. Now the way we're going to put this post together to give us a good solid post that will last for years, um, we're going to take these two pieces, obviously this is the upright part, this is the cross piece. We're going to take, and right here we're going to notch out halfway down the post. We're going to cut that out. Under here we're going to do the same thing so that these two will fit together, and when we put them together in the notch, this right here and this right here will be flush. You know, this will be down even with this. If you do it right, you end up with a good tight fit. You put your nails in there and you got a strong connection that'll last for years. So the next thing you got to do is determine where up and down the post you want your cross piece. Now if your mailbox is on here, you know, your cross piece is going to be about there. Uh, we're going to take and we're going to make uh, some angle cuts on this, but the top of the post will be this high. Uh, but we wanted the post higher than the mailbox, so right there we're about 13 inches. We're going to go just a little bit shorter than that. Yeah, about right there. Yeah, we're going to go right there. So that's where we want our cross piece as far as this direction of our main post. Okay? So I'm going to get my mailbox out of the way. And uh, I'm just going to put a little mark right there. Take my square. And we'll put a straight line across there. And we'll put an X here because the X part is the part I get rid of. Okay? Now, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to line my cross piece up with that line where I'm not covering up the line. I want to see the line. I'm going to put my square there. To make sure that it's well, we can't see it, but if like this, to make sure that this piece is squared up with the, the upright post. Then we'll take my pencil and we'll mark over here. So now I've got two lines, and both lines are visible. So when I cut that out, I don't want to cut the line. Okay? If you cut your line, your width will be wider than this. Okay, now th this is this is a really important point here. You want these pieces to fit together tight because if they fit together good and tight, you put a few nails in them, you got a good sturdy connection there that'll last for years. So, you know, mark it on both sides. You want it so you can see the pencil marks, but when you cut it, don't cut the pencil marks. And if you have to trim a little bit to get it in there, that's okay, but you want to make sure you get a good tight connection before you put your nails in there. So that's where we're going to put our first, uh, make our first cut. So now we're going to start cutting on our post. And like I said before, use your square to make sure that you cut a straight across. Now, another thing I about forgot to do, you want to adjust your saw so that it only cuts halfway through the wood. Uh, I set mine to cut an inch and three quarters deep. That should be halfway. Now, one way you can check this is uh, take a piece of wood, four by four, cut one side, then cut the other side and see if you end up in the middle. Uh, but anyway, that's what we want to do. And here again, use your square to make sure you cut straight across and don't cut your pencil mark.
Then cut the other one. Now all this wood down to the halfway point needs to go away. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a bunch of cuts across here and I'm going to knock it out, smooth it up. So here we go. Alright, there we go. Now if you'll notice, this is not good and smooth in here. But one thing you can do with your skill saw to smooth some of that up, you can actually cut sideways with a skill saw. A little bit more here. All right, we might be a little bit tight. Let's see if this will fit in there now. A little bit snug. We need to take just a little bit more off of it. So to cut that little bit off again, I'm going back with my square to make sure I cut it straight. And I'm gonna cut about half the width of the saw blade off. Like I said earlier, you just wanna make sure that you don't get this hole wider than the four, or the four before. All right, if you see that, that fits in there nice and snug. Goes down about halfway. That's exactly the way we wanted to fit, good and snug. Now, we're gonna figure out where this piece needs to go across here, and we're gonna cut a notch in this piece that match that one, and when they fit together, these edges will be, will be even. All right, we wanna go back. All right, in my case, I'm gonna come back 17 inches. Mark it right there. We'll get rid of that side. Okay, I'm gonna use a different piece of two, uh, four by four to mark the other side, but it's, this four by four is the same width as the other one. I just wanna make sure that everything's good and square before I mark it. All right, right there. All right, so now I got my two marks here for this piece and I'm gonna do the same thing here that I just did here. I'm going to keep cutting, knock that out, smooth it up, and then when these two pieces fit together, they should uh, fit together nice and smoothly and snugly with a uh, smooth edge. All right, let's see how it works. At this point, we got our two pieces notched out, and if we did a good job, they'll fit together pretty snugly.
perfect. Now, we've got a little finishing work to do on these pieces, so I'm going to take it back apart, but I just wanted to check it, make sure that it fit together properly, and it does, it's a nice tight fit. Uh, now this one, we've already cut this end out, and that'll be the cross piece that sits like this. Now this will be tapered up toward the front of the mailbox, the mailbox will be sitting here. And we're going to cut a diamond shape back here. Now I'm going to do that over here on my my miter saw. We're just going to set it like this. We're going to cut all four corners. One more. Now that'll be the back point. Like I said, the, uh, the cross piece will be sitting like this. This just gives it a more finished look at the back of your post. Uh, and of course, this is the front where your the mailbox door will be here. Now we're gonna cut this also on the top of our upright post. And uh, so now I'm gonna get that turned around so I can do that. Now at this point, we've mitered off the top of our cross piece. We've mitered off the top of the standing post the same way. And uh, this piece fits down in here, like so. Nice, good, snug fit. A few taps of a good hammer, sets it in there. And then I'll pick this thing up and I'll show you what our finished product looks like. Well, almost finished anyway. There's where our post looks like. Our mailbox will be here. We'll put a couple nails in here and that'll be it. So let's get some nails in there and we'll get finished with this. Now, if you remember from the beginning, I got my galvanized nails that are, like I said, a couple of them got rings around it. Some of them got grooves that are like a corkscrew. I'm going to put a couple on either side. All right. Now, when I do the other side, I'm going to put two nails in there, but I want to make sure they're opposite of these nails. So I want one here, one up there. All right, there we go. Our post is finished. Now we just got to cut the board for the for the mailbox itself to set on. Now the only thing we got left to do is cut the piece of wood that'll go under the mailbox that sits on top of the the cross piece of the post that we produced. And we decided to go with the plywood just because it's easier and we're running a little short on time to be honest with you. And I got a piece here that's going to work pretty well. I just set my mailbox on here. I put the far side just off the edge. Take my pencil. Mark right there. I want to cut on the mark and get rid of it. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to take my circular saw and cut right down through there. Raise the blade up a little bit. That'll be good. Cut right down through there. That might be a little bit snug, but if it is, we can trim some off. 
but that should fit just in the bottom area of our mailbox. Yeah, it's gonna be just a little bit snug. Need to cut just a little bit off of it. Basically cut off about the width of the saw blade so now that should fit in there and it does at this point we got our mailbox post finished if you build one like this um, if you look at this you'll see there's no cross bracing here a lot of times you'll see the brass bracing here you build one like this like I just showed you you don't need that cross bracing uh, the mailbox post that I showed you to start with is mine at my house. I built that over probably 20 to 25 years ago. It's never had a cross brace. It's never sagged a bit. It's still just as square as it was the day I built it 20 some years ago. So if you build one like this, a good treated four by four post, good nails that won't rust and rot and fall apart, uh, mailbox post will last you a very long time. Uh, the only thing we got left to do, and we'll be doing a video about installing the post out by the road. Uh, once the post is installed, and you don't want to put your mailbox on there now because you're likely to damage it in putting the post up. And like I said, we'll be doing a video about installing the post. But after the post is installed, you take this piece of wood, a few galvanized nails or something that won't rust. You nail it in here where you want it. You put your mailbox post over or your mailbox over that. Use either brass or stainless steel screws in the side to hold your mailbox to this piece. Uh, don't use regular screws. Either get brass or stainless steel because they won't rust. Uh, if you use uh, regular old screws that are galvanized coated or something, over time they'll rust and look bad. Um, you know, it's not that much more to get either brass or stainless steel screws, and it'll last a lot longer for you. And that gives you a nice finished look for your mailbox as well. So anyway, that's it for... Uh, building a mailbox post with do it yourself with Wayne we appreciate you visiting with us and uh, we just hope you have a great day